Namaste. Hi. What happens during Samadhi? I've been asked this question. It's quite tricky to give a definitive answer because each experience is different and there are many layers and stages to Samadhi. But one thing is common. It starts with the stimulation of the inner brain. When the Agni of the Kundalini energy and the Soma, the Soma Rasa, um, the Prana, we hold inside the nervous system blend in proper intensity, it will cause the electrical spike in the nervous system. And this will lead to trance or the euphoria. It starts there. All right? And even the trance would have many you know, stages as well. First, you will feel it, but you're still awake, you're still conscious. All right? And then you're going to go deeper, like you will feel actually the energy leaves your body. You know, it will exit the, the Shashara Chakra, and that's your soul exiting the body. And then uh, you will experience many uh, things as well. And even that leaving of the consciousness out of the body would have many stages as well. Sometimes it could be wild, sometimes it could be subtle, sometimes it could be so serene that you could hear like angels singing or you know, some um, musical sound. I would normally hear the sound of the bell you know, ringing in um, even intervals in the right hemisphere of the brain. And then um, going past and deeper than that, from this experience, you will be sucked in back inside the heart. You know, like there's a magnet there, like there's a hole, and then you will be pulled back into that hole and it shuts down. And then your breath stops, your heart stops. It's like you're dead while you see inside the heart. Yeah? And then you will be able to witness what's inside the brain. First, this black uh, color, nothing. And all you could hear is the sound of the, um, the om, mm, like that. And the eyes will see another shade, like white. Yeah, it will alternate black, white, black, white until it levels off. You will see two shades, like white at the top, black below, and there's a distinct separation. And while the, the ear inside listens to the sound of the Anahatanada. And then throughout this process, you're not breathing. Your heart is really technically, you know, it's not functioning. Yeah, it really like you're, you're dead. Yeah, only the bandhas support you there. It could be scary. So if you don't have a strong set of yoga bandhas to sustain uh, the pressure, the, the, the um, temporary stoppage of your vital organs, this could be quite dangerous, really. Yeah. But of course, if you're confident to hold it, and your, your, your mind is on top of everything, it is possible to stay. Yeah. As long as you can sustain the experience. Yes, then after that, you come back using the bandhas. Right. So the mind is really have to be alert, yeah, while at the same time, you know, surrendering to the experience. It's like you are seeing two worlds. Yeah. You know that you have to come back, and that's the bandhas. But you see and experience the other side, the other realm, you know, your spiritual side, uh, what's out there after the body dies, after a uh, heart and the lungs stop you know, functioning. You know, there's something out there that we transition into. And that's the other side. And we come back. Yeah, so that's a beautiful realization when you come back. Um, yeah, so you, you will realize that really we're, we are all one. You know, we're really all one. There's no separation. You know, just the external structure and the color of our skin. But really after this, even after uh, functions, the vital functions stop, we are just one. And we continue on progressing uh, to our journey until we're able to meet and unite with God, now, which is actually ever-present. It's not the God as we commonly know it, but something which is more encompassing, something which is more universal. Now, it's not exclusive. It's for everyone. It's for all. See you next time. Namaste. No,